The CHOOSE Act is now an official Alabama law, and this new legislation will provide tax dollars for parents who wish to send their children to the school of their choice, public or private. And while some see the school choice as a great thing for families, others worry it's going to harm the public school system and the funding it gets across the state. News 19's Daryl Burke spoke with parents and public school advocates about their thoughts and joins us in the studio. Daryl. Yeah, Greg, the new law will provide additional opportunities for families looking to expand options for their children, such as sending their kids to a private school. Some parents I spoke with are for it, but advocates say financially this could hurt Alabama's public school system. We have considered private schools and uh, the cost is uh, pretty astronomical. Parents like Katie Burke say private school may now be an option for her child with the passing of Alabama's school choice bill. The CHOOSE Act will make way for education savings accounts that will provide $7,000 for families like Burks looking to send their children to private schools. It is um, it's really great that they're giving parents who that option who wouldn't normally be able to afford sending their children to private school. Um, gives them a chance to choose where and how their child is educated. For those wishing to homeschool their student, families would get up to $2,000 for one child and $4,000 for a second child. The measure signed into law by Governor Kay Ivey will set aside $100 million in state funding from Alabama's Education Trust Fund budget. Some North Alabama parents tell me they see both positives and negatives of the new law. I can see both sides. I think on one hand, as parents, we want to have the choice of where we can where we send our kids. The other side, though, is what happens to the public school system if we are moving all the kids out to private schools or to homeschooling. I'm afraid that the public schools maybe get worse and maybe get less funding. According to U.S. News and World Report, Alabama has the seventh lowest public school education in the country, and some fear the new law could make things worse. Public school advocates in the state are concerned over the possibility of public schools in Alabama taking a financial hit as a result of the school choice bill. The worry is that our districts are going to still have the same number of students, but less money with which to educate them because we've taken a chunk of funds out of uh, the budget and put it towards private school tuition. Now, for the first two years of the school choice bill, only families in Alabama earning up to 300 percent of the federal poverty line will be eligible, which comes out to about $76,000 for a family of three. The Choose Act will take effect at the beginning of the 2025-2026 school year, but the income limit will be no longer come 2027. For more information about the bill in its entirety, that could be found on our website in this story at whnt.com. Craig.